Okay, so you have a chill beat, some kind of low-key masterpiece like this one, and you'd like it so that every time a MIDI note triggers, it also triggers a video. So we're connecting sample firing with the videos firing. And the way we can do that is we're gonna group all this drum stuff into a rack, add another chain, we'll call that Brain Candy, and I'm gonna drag Brain Candy from where I had it on the master right over into this new chain. And if we click the MIDI button, we can see that right away, Brain Candy is now changing videos based on the MIDI note coming in. And if I move or add some new MIDI notes, we're gonna see different videos triggered at different times. And it's important to note that the way Brain Candy works is that it takes in the lowest possible MIDI note and it uses that to trigger the first video in your playlist. So keep in mind, it starts at the lowest note possible in live. Now I'm just gonna move these around, just playing with it. I don't really have a big plan here. Just wanna show you how we can now compose simultaneously with both audio and video, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna introduce some randomness into the beat and into the video by opening up this uh, chant section that Live 11 so thoughtfully has included in the MIDI editor. I'm just gonna draw it around so the beat changes and then the videos that play also change. Okay, but let's say we want Brain Candy to react also to the audio on this track, not just the MIDI, but maybe the texture of it, the amplitude. That's where Ear Candy comes in. So I'm gonna drag an Ear Candy right after all my audio processing, set it to ear number one. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna beam audio analysis data right over to Brain Candy. If we open up the audio control panel where it says ears one, that's now gonna be the amplitude of this track. So I'm just gonna plug that in, say, into the distortion horizontal. And we can see that it is actually now controlling the distortion with the amplitude of this track. We also have other audio analysis features we can use, like timbre, how smooth the track is. Um, so I'm gonna get that involved here, some color shift, get that feedback stuff going, which I love, use the transients too. And if you don't know how to use this audio control screen, I've got another tutorial for you just about that. And you can check it out at your leisure.